So far we've talked about current in circuits and the next big thing that we need to talk about is uh, voltage and different types of voltage. So first thing we need to do is try and clear up a bit of confusion that often comes after uh, GCSE physics. Now um, there are two terms on the screen there, voltage and potential difference. And if I were a betting woman, I'd lay pretty decent odds that at GCSE you use those two terms interchangeably. So you didn't consider them to be anything different, that there was no difference between voltage and potential difference. Um, at A level, you need to make sure you know the difference. Um, key thing to get in your head is that potential differences are types of voltages, like apples are types of fruit. And there are two types of voltage that we will need to know about. We need to know about um, EMFs and potential differences. Both of those are voltages, both of those are measured in volts, and both of them are similar quantities but have different uh, specifics about them. So we'll start with potential difference because uh, it should be the one you're more familiar with. So what we need to know about potential difference is that it is equal to the work done or energy transferred, it doesn't matter which term you use. So the work done from electrical energy per unit charge passing through a device. So the important thing here is that we're talking about the amount of energy that's been transferred per charge from electrical energy. So you'll have potential differences across the devices in circuits. So things like your lamps and your LEDs and your resistors, they will have potential differences across them. So from that definition, we can get to an equation. So we're just going to use the symbol V because it's, it is a type of voltage. So it's a potential difference, which is a type of voltage. And that is equal to the work done per unit charge. So work over charge. So here I've got V is potential difference in volts, W is the work done or energy transferred in joules, and Q is the charge in coulomb. And obviously we can rearrange, go from one to the other. This also gives us um, an alternative unit for the volt. Um, so volts are also equivalent to joules per coulomb, um, which you occasionally might see, uh, probably more if you're doing extra reading around, if you're one of those people who do lots of reading, which is a good thing, by the way. So that's potential difference. So our next one that I mentioned was uh, EMF, which stands for electromotive force. You will probably only ever see EMF, really. Um, so the EMF of a power supply is equal to the work done, or energy transferred, to electrical energy per unit charge by the power supply. So note this time I'm talking about it being the power supply rather than the device. I'm talking about it being the energy transferred to electrical energy, but I still have work done per unit charge. So at its heart, it's very, very similar to potential difference. What's different is the direction in which the energy is being transferred. So in potential difference, I'm transferring from electrical. In EMF, I'm transferring to electrical. So you can think of it as being the EMF is the energy you put into the circuit, potential difference is the energy that you're getting out of the circuit. So coming up with an equation for it, well I can have EMF equals work done per charge. Now you're not going to see this as a separate equation in your data book by the way, you will just have V equals W over Q because V can stand for a voltage um, as well as a potential difference. But you will see this symbol again for EMF and the lowercase epsilon, so EMF is in volts, W is energy in joules, Q is the charge in coulombs, and again we can rearrange. So let's be really clear that we know the difference. Potential difference is used when charges are losing energy by transferring electrical energy to something else. Potential difference is defined as the energy transferred per unit charge there. So I've got that definition, energy transferred per unit charge from electrical. EMF is used when electrical charges gain energy, so charges gain electrical energy from a power supply or a battery. But again, I can still define EMF as the energy transferred per unit charge. The key difference is which way is the energy going. You need to get it right. EMF is entering the circuit, potential difference is leaving the circuit. Okay. 
get those definitions right. They're easy marks in the exam. Make sure you learn them. Okay, so that is it for this little section. Remember, any questions? Ask when you see me.